Hello everybody and welcome back to our discussion on the logarithmic properties. And we already talked about the different basic, the product, the quotient, and the power rule. Now we are ready to expand and condense logarithmic expression. But for this video, I'm going to talk about expanding logarithms first. Okay, So the condensing of logarithmic expressions will be done in a separate video. Okay, so let's start. Let us try to answer problems on expanding logarithms. Okay, let us try to answer problem number one. So expand the logarithm of x squared y cubed over z raised to 4. First, we need to uh, use the quotient rule first by taking the difference of the logarithms of the numerator and the denominator, right? Okay, using the quotient rule, we can write this as the logarithm of x squared y cubed minus the logarithm of z raised to 4. Remember, we use subtraction when there is a quotient, a logarithm of quotient. Okay. Now, we apply for each individual logarithms. For the first logarithm right here, the logarithm of x squared y cubed, as you can see, there is a product of x squared and y cubed. So, let us apply the product rule. Okay. So the product rule states that we can actually separate the two logarithms together using addition. Okay, so this becomes logarithm of x squared plus the logarithm of y cubed. Okay, and just copy this one as it is. So we have logarithm of z raised to 4. Okay, and finally the power rule states that when there is exponent we can actually make it as the coefficient just like for this one so we have logarithm of x squared the exponent 2 right here now becomes the coefficient so this becomes 2 logarithm of x for the second one we have logarithm of y cubed the exponent 3 here now becomes the coefficient so this becomes 3 logarithm of y and then finally for logarithm of z raised to 4 it becomes minus 4 logarithm of z okay that is now the expanded form of the given logarithmic expression okay for this one we have logarithm of square root of x okay uh, you have to recall your uh, radical expressions here. Okay, we can rewrite square root of x as uh, this is x raised to one half. Okay, rewriting from radical to fractional exponent. You need to recall that in our chapter one lesson. Okay, now that it's written in exponential form, we can now. Uh, make this exponent one half as the coefficient. So this now becomes one half logarithm of x. Okay, so that's how we use the properties of logarithm to expand the given expression. Okay, we still have two more examples. For the next one, we have logarithm of 64x cubed. 4x plus 1, 2x minus 1, okay? So, the rule here is uh, every factors in the numerator will have a plus sign, right? We need to add the logarithms, individual logarithms of the factors. Whereas the logarithms of the factors of the denominator will have minus sign because of the quotient rule. Okay, so 64 can be written as 4 raised to 3, right? Or this is 2 raised to 6, right? Uh, we can check our uh, calculator and check for uh, 34, I mean 64. Uh, 2 raised to 6 
is 64. So we can actually write 64 as 2 raised to 6. Okay, so this becomes logarithm. Okay, let us now try to individually write this. So we can actually write this as 2 raised to 6. Okay, so we have logarithm of 2 raised to 6 plus, okay, because of the factors, the factors here in the numerator uh, will have addition sign. The so logarithm of x cubed and then plus the logarithm of 4x plus 1. Okay, so that's how we expanded the numerator how about the denominator we will have minus uh, remember uh, we should copy the base okay so these are all in base 6 okay for the denominator we have minus okay so minus logarithm and base 6 of 2x minus 1 okay and let's try to simplify this further by using the power rule all the exponents will now become coefficients okay so for the first one we have 6 logarithm of 2 in base 6 plus this now becomes 3 logarithm of x in base 6 and these two cannot be simplified any further so we can just copy as it is okay so like that 2x minus 1 in base 6 okay so that's the answer now we have already expanded the given logarithmic uh, term or expression okay let's try to answer last one for the expanding logarithmic expressions okay so we have ln of the square root of x minus 1 times 2x plus 1 squared all over x squared minus 9. Okay, so remember all factors in the numerator uh, will have plus sign, but I think we need to rewrite this first. Okay, so remember the square root sign will be converted as a fractional exponent as uh, one half, right? So everything will be raised to one half here. So we have x minus one raised to one half times two x plus one raised to one half raised to two. So that's basically two x plus one. Okay, the one half and the two will be cancelled out in the exponent. So this is minus. Uh, we can also factor x squared minus nine as x plus three and x minus three. That's difference of two squares okay so that's the factored form of the given expression now we can write okay logarithm uh, natural logarithm of x minus one raised to one half plus the natural logarithm of two x plus one and then the factors in the denominator will have minus sign so that's natural minus natural logarithm of x plus three and then minus natural logarithm of x minus 3 okay and then finally we write the exponent as x, as coefficients so that's one half natural logarithm of x minus 1 plus the natural logarithm of 2x plus 1 minus the natural logarithm of x plus 3 and then finally minus the natural logarithm of x minus 3 so that is now the expanded form of the given logarithmic expression. So that's it for expanding logarithms. For the next video, I am going to talk about how to condense, doing the reverse of what we did in this video. Okay, so I will see you there.